Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. I'm going to show you this great game that we played at Lakeville. And the thing that makes it so great is the fact that one of our guys bit the dust. And so the, the, the remaining two guys had to get their stuff together and do what we could to bring this back game back and save it because the guys that we faced were really strong stronger than us I thought I thought they had a slight advantage at the very beginning from the from the spawn due to the makeup of their team but that's something that happens in the matchmaking so I'm going to show you what's a really close game that could have gone you know, either way. So I hope that you could leave a like for this video. That would help to spread this through the YouTube algorithm. And help players who haven't normally seen my videos maybe see this one. So now that we've got that out of the way, I think it's time for us to go and take care of the video. Are you ready? It's a good one. Welcome to Lakeville. So what we have here, myself and the Thresher, we have Bernie in a Panzer E3, which is a retired tank that you cannot get. If you have it, great. If you don't have it, like myself, you're not going to get it. That's just the way it is. Brownie is over there rocking the Tier 3 French Lorraine Artillery. He's working on the Artillery Mastery Badge. He's almost done, actually. And Bernie's in the same situation on the Light Tanks. I had Medium Tanks, and I already completed mine. So I was able to bring a more devastating Long Haul Tank. Because we're, what we're doing is we're doing all this stuff, trying to kill multiple birds with one stone. We're trying to get Stalingrad operation points, trying to get long hauls done. We're trying to win this game, of course, and we're trying to have my guys score for their mastery badges. So we have many irons in the fire. We're not just running, you know, one set and then go and we do that and go to something different. We're going to try and knock off as many of these as we can at the same time so that when we're done after several days, we can go do whatever fun, goofy stuff we want to do. So I was trying to get a spot over here to shoot that guy, which you can see on Lake Road. He just popped off. He's right here as a heavy tank. Right there. But this is the Panzer 1C, and you're going to see what this guy does. And I'm trying to take care of him as well. Now I'm posted up here. Brownie is right here at Alpha 2. So anybody that comes from over here has got to get past me to get to him. And brother, that ain't happened. Oh, Panzer 1C, I told you he was coming. Spoiler alert, I was here earlier. So now he found an, a new reality that I'm a guy that, that historically the Thresher is very difficult for the Panzer 1C to kill. So he's already scared out of his little mind. I, I'm butchering him, as you can see. That's me drilling him. Now he gets killed by one of my other guys right here. Toast. I almost got him. But that's okay. My job is to make sure he does not reach Brownie. In fact, Brownie is already dead. He got counter artillery. So now that part I can't do anything about. And Brownie was having a real good game. But hey, the guys on the other team, well, they're good too. And that's the key. We're trying to beat guys playing well. And the only way you do that is to play better than them. I was going to go and backdoor the artillery until I saw those twin terrors, the Hetzers. And I was like, uh, no thanks. I am not interested in messing with you boys. I drilled him in the side. So I was going there, but it's like, oh man, 
And I thought we were in trouble because we don't have Brownie. And Bernie's in trouble to a degree. He's, he's getting low on health. I told him to hang on. I'm coming there. After, you know, I deal with these Hetzers. And, yeah, I finally realized, you know what? I got to get out of here and go help Bernie. I'm just going to get killed if I try and push my luck against Hetzers. Not one. One is bad enough. I don't want to do that, really. But two is impossible. I just don't have the firepower or the speed. Or the reload. Which indirectly gives you firepower. So I'm coming here. I told Bernie I'm on my way. And I'm giving him updates on my approach progress. If he hangs on, stays alive, avoids you know damage, I'm here. So that's a DW2. There's Bernie. He's down to two points now. So I'm like, okay, it's on, dude. Panzer 1C, good. Another guy for me to butcher. But I got to be careful because there's a Pack 40 there who can drill me hardcore. I can withstand a couple of shots, but I'd rather not. Artillery, he drilled me. That's one of the shots I didn't want to take, but, you know, that's why I don't want to take a shot from the Pack 40 because if the artillery gets me, he could kill me. So I got lucky. This Panzer 1C is almost toast with three points. Now, he cannot be allowed to survive, which was a fantastic shot from the Valentine. Way to go. I got drilled slightly. Now, the Valentine is engaging the Pack 40, so I need to go and flank to the right to get a shot on the Pack 40. Right now, we have a three-gun attack. Bernie, myself, and the Valentine. One of us is going to kill this guy. Fortunately, I killed him and no one died, so we still have three guns here. Now the artillery is close, and those two snipers are on the edge of the lake shore somewhere on the south side, I think. I don't know. So here's the artillery. I'm flanking to the left. He's 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 out of he's got of it. Basically, he gets one shot at me. If he doesn't kill me, I'm gonna annihilate him. So we're pounding this dude. He's gone. I got him too. So that was fantastic. Now, oh, the pack, I mean, the T-40 that we had, he killed one of the Hetzers while I was moving to help Bernie. And then he fell into the lake or fell off the rocks and died. Tomato, tomato. But he's gone. But luckily for us, he got one of the, one of the Hetzers before he died. So great job. For that. Now, one of the things that Bernie and Brownie are so good at, they know the stats of tanks. I don't know if they knew this, but I knew the stat that was most important of this Hetzer. And that is, he's got a 350 view range. He had to get close to defend his base, and once he did, it's on like Donkey Kong. So I'm over here, charge flanking him, and I, I got him. I got him. Whoops, except Bernie got him first. So that was fantastic. I mean, I totally drew his attention as a distraction. And if Bernie doesn't kill him, I've got him within one second or less. Or less. He was a dead man. It just didn't matter. It was just when either Bernie or I get him. But Bernie got him, which was a fantastic shot, as you could tell. So that was outstanding. So you see there, that is the Valentine. That's Bernie in second, myself, I'm MVP with Orange Dread. He is the Valentine too. This is a Faden's Metal Alert. At the end of the match, when I was editing this video, I realized that I only had one bullet left and the kill shot I had lined up on that guy would have generated a Faden's Metal for me if it kills him. If not, well, Bernie kills him. So it's kind of ironically hilarious that Bernie's kill, which ended the game for us, indirectly stole my Faden's medal from me. Now, I'm showing you the Faden's medal in my 
profile because I already have two. It's not a big deal. But I'll guarantee you he's going to send me a message when he sees the video that he's so sorry that he's, you know, stole my Faden's medal. But really, it's not a big deal. In fact, like I said, it's so funny that I had to make this insert to add to the video. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I just can't wait to get the, the message from Bernie apologizing for stealing my Faden's medal. Now we return you back to your previously scheduled recording. Okay, here we are at the end of game screen. Man, I felt we dodged a huge bullet. Because it was just, we, we were under pressure the entire game. And I just don't know if I accurately conveyed the pressure that we felt and, and we were so relieved at the end because we were just, you know, doing the little things bit by bit by bit correctly to keep us in position to, to maintain a shot at victory. We got a great contribution from the rest of our team. You'll see that in a second. So now myself, you'll see Right off the bat, the thing that jumps out at me is minus 53,000. I don't care about that. I use all premium because I'm playing to win. I don't like bounce shots. That makes it longer to kill somebody, and that means they can be a danger to my team for longer. I don't allow that. So that's why I'm willing to sacrifice 50 grand to help my team win games. I'll just go play Cold War and make that money back. It's no problem. But I did kill three guys, you know, with almost 1,200 damage, so that was fantastic. My medals were nothing special, just regular medals. Got tons of these. Cool-headed, shell-proof, fire-for-effect, bruiser, and a third-class badge. But again, I'm not doing light tanks. I already completed my medium, so I'm done with that part. Now, here's the rest of the team. As you know, obviously, I was MVP. Bernie was in second place with that wicked kill that he made on that Hetzer, which was awesome. Orange Dread pulled in third place. Terrific job in the Valentine with three kills. And really good ones, man. Very helpful to our cause. And that's the key. A lot of times, people misunderstand. And they think, well, I killed six guys. But we didn't win. He didn't kill the right six. I tell people often, it's not only how many you kill. It's which ones and when. If you kill the right guys at the right time, it's more impactful to your team. That Valentine guy, you know, when he and... and uh, Bernie and I were attacking that Panzer 1C and that Pack 40. He killed the Panzer 1C. He finished off a guy. Well, we only had three points. It wasn't the three points that was so important. It was the fact that that guy had monster speed that none of us could match. If he gets away, we'll never catch him. He's literally double our speed. Or just about anyway. So... That Valentine 2, you might say, well, that, that wasn't a big kill. I say it was a big kill. And making kills at the right time, like when I killed, I didn't kill the other Panzer 1C by the lake. And the uh, buildings that were over there by the lake, the other guy finished him off. But I set him up to be killed once again, eradicating a monster speed guy. So that was a huge kill. The T-40. This guy had a key kill on that Hetzer. He killed two. Great. But the one that separates the men from the boys is the one when he knocked off the Hetzers when they had two of them. So he knocked off one of those. And that was outstanding. So you got to understand that... You can have a great game and influence your team and win even though you're like this Valentine and you kill a guy who's got three hit points left. 
It's not what he had in points. It was what his threat was. Bernie was fantastic. Two hit points left. He was in on the Panzer 1C kill and also the Pack 40 kill, even though if they look at him cross-eyed, he's dead. He risked his own life to help the team and survived, which allowed him to swipe that Hetzer kill from me. That jerk. No, I'm just kidding, dude. That was a great shot. So try to remember it's not just how many, it's which ones. If you do the right ones at the right time, you're going to stand a much better chance of winning. So I hope you guys learned something from this match. If, if you did, then I feel it was very, very valuable and worthwhile. It would be real helpful, again, if you could leave a like. Tell your friends if you would. Give them a chance to leave a like and possibly subscribe as well. And see just what we're doing. Because I thought that Bernie and Orange themselves did a great job you know, with me cashing in this win because it was not a gimme. It might look like it was a gimme, but I'm telling you, we were like, whoa, man, we felt like we dodged a super bullet because those guys had gun after gun after gun that was powerful. And then they had those fast guys that we just didn't have any match for. So we, we felt like we were super lucky to be able to pull that one out, especially after Brownie got whacked because he's a key contributor to our matches and you can see that all over my channel it's almost the brownie channel actually um but i just wanted to you know elaborate and let you guys know how we were feeling at the end of that match so i got more to do obviously thanks for watching i will see you guys hopefully in another video very soon